Hey guys, so I wanted to show you the uh, grass catcher uh, bagger kit that I got for the 36 inch Xmark Viking that I recently picked up. Uh, I was, uh, ever since I got the more, I've been thinking about uh, a bagger kit for the fall uh, and for, you know, times of heavy growth where I can't be uh, mulching or side discharging uh, with the clients that I have. Um, so I was looking at uh, either, you know, an accelerator or a steel catcher or the factory fabric catcher. Um, ultimately, I decided to go with a fabric style bag uh, for two reasons. Number one, um, they're just a lot more lightweight than going with a steel or even aluminum catcher. And also, they prevent a lot more dust than a steel or aluminum catcher would. Now, um, so what I'm referring to basically is going with, you know, a fabric bag, much like I have on the Honda HRC216. And I talk about uh, this because of my experience using this guy here. Uh, this is my uh, Accelerator uh, Industries a catcher that they used to put out. Uh, it's no longer available, but they used to make this for the Honda HRC216. So I used this for many, many years. And although it worked great uh, in the rain for uh, wet grass and stuff, it was extremely heavy. Uh, and uh, it also, in dry conditions, was just so dusty with all of the dust and stuff that would just come out those mesh sides. Uh, but back to the weight. This thing was so heavy uh, that it would actually always have, as you can see here, stress cracks in it. Um, if I open up the front here, it would actually clip on to your Honda uh, with these tabs. And as you can see from the other side, the tab is completely broken and, and part of the side frame is completely gone. Uh, just because it would just keep breaking from all of that weight. I actually, uh, you know, would have to constantly take this in and have it repaired. Uh, and it was getting to be quite expensive. I had the guy add in, uh, you know, these aluminum side gussets here to strengthen it up because it used to always crack here. Um, and ultimately, you know, it broke again and I just stopped using it because it was... Uh, uh, just too fragile for the weight and the design and ultimately I think that's what led to uh, the fact that Accelerator discontinued this model and they no longer make accelerators for the uh, Honda small like push mowers. So I ended up looking like I said for a fabric style bag. I found this bagger kit uh, on eBay. Uh, it's for a 36 inch Encore mower um, and I wasn't sure at first you know if this would work but the more I looked at it, you know, looking at the handles, the shape of the bag, the fact that it had, you know, a back plate, uh, you know, the little tabs on the side, uh, the mounting bracket on the back, it looked identical to the Xmark ones that I was pricing out at the dealer. Uh, and they, you know, uh, wanted about $600 for a brand new kit. Uh, and considering I paid $1,000 for the mower, I was, you know, not gonna pay $600 for a brand new bag kit. Um, so I decided, you know, seeing this one on eBay, it was on sale or for sale for $100 US uh, and it was in Florida. So I had to pay um, shipping and everything for it too. But, you know, I still found that it was a, a really good deal and worth the chance. And I always thought, you know what, even if it didn't work out exactly because the back plate is steel, it's a lot easier because I have a welder. I can change the mounts and, and make it work uh, versus you know, an aluminum catcher type thing where if it breaks and stuff, I don't have the ability to weld aluminum. So I would have to send this out constantly to get repaired or with steel, you know, I can repair it myself. So I thought for a hundred bucks, I would take a chance on the Encore bagger and see if it works. So uh, basically uh, it does, it works uh, perfectly. The only thing I had to do was move the bracket back um, a few steps and as you can see, the bracket, the back plate is already pre-drilled with a bunch of holes for different positions. So it was originally over here. I just had to move it a couple of spaces back. I also had to use um, just a few two washers stacked on top of each other at each bolt just to space out the back plate out a little bit to give me a little bit more clearance uh, when it's installed against where the back tire is. Uh, but everything else uh, was uh, pretty, you know, um, pretty perfect actually. Um, I did end up uh, notching out uh, the edge of this hole a little bit bigger uh, just because of my OCD and I'll explain it when I get it on the mower so you guys can see what I'm talking about there but definitely not necessary. So let's uh, take a look. I'll put it on the mower. So just 
make note here of the shape of the deck, how it kind of comes down on an angle here. Originally, the bagger kit uh, came out around here and it just came straight down. So I decided to notch it out on an angle just to have that opening uh, included as well. So you can see it all uh, will melt pretty much the same. It uses the exact same pin size that goes in the bottom of the deck. Uh, and this pin here also lines up uh, with the hole on the discharge of the deck perfectly. So you can see there that it all uh, lines up exactly the same. You can see the pin coming through the factory hole on the deck. You can see the uh, washers I added just to push out this back plate out a little bit further from the wheel just to give me a little bit more clearance, but it all clears fine. There'll be no issues with uh, the tires rubbing or anything. There's plenty of space there. Let's put the bag on. Oh, and before I do, so there's the uh, cutout I was explaining. So originally this Encore bagger it came out and came down this angle but then it was just straight down which was not a big deal it worked perfectly fine but the uh, x mark deck has this little bit of an angle here so just a little bit of grass was collecting behind this plate here and also the x marks have this bolt that sticks out so this back plate wasn't resting right up to the deck it was sitting on top of this bolt so i decided you know what i'll just notch this out notch it down and that way it opens up the bolt uh, can then allow the back plate to sit flush and it just opens up this little area. So not a huge modification. And uh, you know, other than that works perfect. So there you have it. There's a Encore 36 inch walk behind bagger kit uh, installed, uh, you know, perfectly on a Xmark Viking 36 inch. So like I said, you can see how it's all 